Or you landed on the Coach JV Podcast. This is a raw, authentic podcast, helping you understand the power you have inside of you to accomplish great things. I'm just going to warn you, if you're sensitive, this is not the podcast for you. But if you're ready to rise, let's go. Warriors, rise! Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Coach JV Podcast. We talk about motivation, health, and life. I'm your host, Coach JV, your top health and mindset coach in the world. And what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, welcome to Tuesday's podcast. On Monday's podcast, I was vulnerable with you guys. I had a shitty couple weeks, man. And yeah, it was rough. But I'm here to tell you that we're going to rise back through discipline and consistency. That's what it's all about today. Podcast today is all about how important it is to develop discipline, consistency, and a schedule to allow your body to be in alignment for a long enough period of time to be able to measure the results. Okay. It's not motivation that's going to get you there. It's discipline, consistency, and having a very strict schedule that allows you freedom. We don't want to be sloppy. We don't want to be sloppy with our days and just willy nilly. We want to have a scheduled systematic process and that's what creates freedom. So let's dive right into it. So if you were listening to my podcast yesterday, I was very vulnerable with you guys. You can tell my throat is still jacked up, but I'm very vulnerable with you guys is um, I had a shitty couple of weeks. But what got me through it is my disciplined, strict schedule. Now, that may sound uncomfortable, but what disciplined and strict schedule has done is it's created massive amounts of freedom, massive amounts of freedom. So even though I had a rough two weeks, my disciplined, consistent schedule of doing things systematically that move the needle forward was the reason why it wasn't a complete fucking disaster. Now, emotionally, Physically and mentally, it was a complete disaster. Uh, probably it was a complete disaster. But within my work life and the things that I needed to do to move the needle forward, I still moved the needle forward. It wasn't where I wanted it to be. It wasn't at the level that I wanted it to be, but it didn't completely unravel because of the discipline, consistent schedule. So within my discipline, consistent schedule, I probably was doing things about 75%. Now, at least I was doing things 75% then doing things zero. So now what most human beings do is they wake up and now they have a schedule that is dictated by their job, right? That's not the type of schedule I'm talking about. I'm talking about what do you do when you wake up, right? From the minute you wake up to the minute you go to work, what are those disciplined, consistent activities? Are you writing down your goals? Are you doing your prayers? Are you doing meditation? And you don't, you know, it's not this whole thing where you have to wake up at 2.50, you have to wake up at 4 a.m. It's, do you get enough sleep? Number one. Once you get enough sleep, are you waking up early enough before your job, before your J-O-B trading time for money to get things done like prayer, meditation, centering back to yourself, grounding yourself, exercise, right? Are you scheduling, you know, making sure you're getting enough nutrients or a fasting protocol? Are you scheduling to make sure that you get the things you need to get done at work so you don't have to take work home? Schedule is extremely, extremely important. Now, I'm going to say something that I say to my, uh, my insurance agents that come on board. When they coach me person, I'm saying your schedule needs to be your boss. Now, I don't mean that in a way that you want to be dictated, but your schedule should be your boss, right? If you allow your schedule to be your boss, for example, when I wake up, I look at the boss right away. Um, oh, after obviously my prayers and meditation, all that stuff. And me, you know, right when I get settled in, I write down when I'm writing down my goals. Let me walk you through. I've said a million times. I wake up, first 15 minutes is prayer, meditation, time with God, and connecting to the field, the frequency that I want to embody. Okay. So then I go into my goal setting. I go into church. I call it church. I listen to different spiritual stuff and I write notes and then I write down my short term, midterm, long term goals. And I look at my boss, my schedule. I look at my schedule and I ask myself, is everything on my schedule going to move the needle forward? Now that is set up with, with my admin and all that stuff the Friday before. But I want to make sure that things, things that I'm doing are still things that are going to move the needle forward. And I want to be mentally prepared for those. Okay. So my schedule is very disciplined and consistent. And each thing is, is, is in alignment with my short-term, mid-term, long-term goals. And the schedule stops at two, which allows me to create freedom. Now, the freedom comes from the disciplined, consistent schedule that is my boss from 5.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Does that make sense? So all I'm telling you guys is even if you're not an entrepreneur, even if you are in a job, a J-O-B, 
you can move forward a lot faster if you had a schedule. I did the same thing in corporate America. That's why I moved up so quickly. That's why I did so well in corporate America is because I was very disciplined. I was very consistent. I followed a schedule. I had follow up with my clients. And as everybody else was fucking off and, and you know waking up 15 minutes before work and rushing to work and being late, by the time people had gotten to work and I already meditated, I had prayed, I had exercised, I'd written down my goals, same things I'm doing now. Nothing has changed other than I'm in alignment with what I'm meant to do. That's the only thing that's changed. And so now the discipline and consistency is moving me towards freedom more and more every day, financial, spiritual, and mental. Now, I, if you haven't listened to my Monday podcast, I want you to listen to it because I'm not acting like everything's sunshine and rainbows. It was a brutal two weeks that I had, but my discipline and consistency and allowing my schedule to be my boss allows me to get back on track very, very quickly because I don't fall off the rails, right? Some of the cars fell off, maybe got a little wobbly, but we didn't fall off the rails. So the question I have for you today in the short podcast is, do you actually have a schedule? Do you have a daily routine that you follow that is in alignment with the true dreams and purposes that you want to fulfill here on earth? And if you don't, do it today. Do it today. Schedule your life for the next 30 days. Schedule your date nights, schedule your dinner with your, you know, dates with your daughters or however it is. Like, you know, I make sure me and my daughter go on a date once a month. I make sure that's scheduled into my schedule. I make sure that I have individual time with my son, individual time with daughter and family time. That stuff's all scheduled in family. Now, does it fall exactly in alignment with that? No, there's a bunch of people in other paradigms, but these are things that I have expectations of myself that are within alignment with what I want to achieve within my current life. Okay. So what I challenge you to do today is I challenge you to look back at your last week and ask yourself how disciplined were you or how consistent with you were and saying, I was probably listening to this. You guys are goal setters. You're people who want something from your life. So look at what you truly, truly want. And then back engineer into that last two weeks. And did you really do the things you need to do, get to where you want to go, right? The path to mastery, 10,000 hours. I'd highly read the book, um, outlier book outliers which says 10,000 hours to master. You know how long it takes to get to 10,000 hours? That's why things are working out for me because I've mastered this. I've been doing this for well over 10,000 hours. I've been being disciplined and consistent with my schedule for since 2000, probably 12 is when I got really locked in. So 2012, man, that's 12 years I've been doing this. So now it seems like I launched my insurance company. It's one of the fastest growing insurance companies. All we did guys is take the same activities Discipline, consistent, letting the schedule dictate, be our boss, and implement it in new companies. And now each company starts to do very, very well. We have Merlin, our crypto company, uh, our blockheads are this created Merlin. Merlin's already a net positive company. It's already generating, gosh, it's generating close to $300,000 a year. The insurance company has already generated close to $400,000 a year. It'll be a million dollar company in the first year. The Warrior Academy, we're heading, we'll get it to eight figures probably this year. The reason why I'm not, I'm, I'm saying that to brag and to tell you the simplistic thing is it's discipline and consistency. That's all it is, guys. There's no magic pill to this. There's no magic pill to this. It is discipline. Like for example, my CFO, the dude is disciplined. He's consistent. He does the same things over and over and over again. And it's not shocking that people are constantly, we just had a conversation last night. He's like, dude, someone else wants to do business. He's constantly getting people reaching out to want to do business with him because he's a beast, man. He does the same things over and he does need to rest more. If he is listening to this, he does need to rest more and go on vacation more. Remember that, buddy? You need to get some rest. But he's a beast. He does the same things. We're, we're similar. We do the same things over and our COO does the same thing. Same things over and over and over again. And people are like, what's the magic pill, Jeremy? What's the magic pill, May? It's like, we do the same things over and over again, disciplined and consistent for a long enough period of time to measure the effectiveness. And when we're having shitty times, we still stay disciplined and consistent. Sometimes it's 50%, sometimes it's 25%, but it's better than 0%. So all I'm telling you is after this call, you need to set a schedule. You need to set a schedule. You need to get disciplined. You need to get consistent because when you hit those hard times, like I did for two weeks, you don't completely unravel. You feel like it's unraveling, but within the physical paradigm, it stays together because you're still following the same pattern. You're just at a lower frequency. So now I'm about to raise that fucking frequency through the roof. And I guarantee you the next four to five weeks, I'm going to hold that energy as long as I can. We are going to rock the fucking house because I'm back in the wave of energy. It goes up. It's just a wave of energy, guys. So you got this. So create your schedule, get disciplined, get consistent, and get your shit together. Warriors, rise.